Good afternoon. Governor Susana Martinez announced today she will expand Medicaid health insurance to 170,000 more New Mexicans. It is part of President Obama's health care plan, but it's been up to the states to decide if they wanted to take part. News 13's Jessica Garate is in the newsplex to explain the governor's decision. Kim, the governor could have said no, like other Republican governors in several states, following a Supreme Court ruling. But she says after meeting with health care advocates, hospital leaders, lawmakers, and many others, she found the expansion of Medicaid to the poor was needed. My job is to ensure we're taking responsible steps to provide an adequate level of basic health care services for those most in need in our state. The expansion would give Medicaid health insurance to adults in New Mexico, making less than $15,400 a year starting in 2014. A large group, the governor says, is driving up health care costs that the state has already been paying for. It's not that they're not receiving health care now. Most of them are. Unfortunately, it happens too often to be in the most inefficient and costly way possible in our emergency rooms. The feds would pay 100% of the expansion the first three years, gradually decreasing to 90% by 2020. The governor says letting the feds step in and pay for the uninsured here will save the state money. If we were to expand Medicaid, the feds would pay a higher portion for these individuals health care and the state would actually save money a net figure of about 16 million dollars in the first year alone if the badly in debt federal government ever takes back the promise and cuts funding for the medicaid expansion the governor can back out of the program and in that situation we end up taking money from other health care services or education and I won't stand for it. In 2020, that 10% the state would have to cover would cost about $75 million a year. Kim? Okay, thanks, Jessica. Now, there are already 560,000 New Mexicans receiving Medicaid coverage. After this, 730,000 will be eligible.